Hi there, how are you guys doing? This is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at Nokia 8 which is the flagship Android smartphone from Nokia and if you look at the box actually it is very similar to the box that we had with the Nokia 6 uh, but yeah this is the Nokia 8 that we have and uh, this is powered by the Snapdragon 835 chipset and uh, the variant that will be sold in India comes with the 64 GB of internal storage and that has 4 gigabytes of RAM and as you can see it's having a 5.3 inch quad HD uh, screen and uh, they are concentrating on the camera with this one it has a dual uh, 13 megapixel camera with Zeiss optics so I'm like uh, really interested to see how will be the camera and even the front facing camera is a 13 megapixel uh, shooter so let's quickly open this up and have a look so this is what is this nokia 8 and as you can see the though it is a 5.3 inch screen let me bring the nokia 6 nearby i have that uh this had a 5.5 inch screen but if you notice the difference is not that much but yeah this is having a 5.3 inch screen we'll keep this to the side for now and uh, we have the sim ejector tool we have a nokia 8 started getting a basic guide that gives you an idea about the phone and stuff basic stuff let me put this to the side Pro uh, safety info and uh, we also get a headset with this one let's see which one and uh, these are in here and initial impressions the quality uh, looks to be good but I will definitely test and let you guys know how will be the audio quality as you can see it also has this nokia branding and button over here and two buttons to actually uh, adjust for forward and backward while you listen to the music so nice stuff and some extra earbuds also that we are getting and apart from that what else yeah this is another box that we have looks like this entire thing comes out and yeah we have a bunch of stuff let me take that out so yeah so a uh, USB type C uh, cable that we are getting and this is the power brick and it's supposed to be a fast charger let's look at the rating of this one and uh, it's very very tiny uh, but this is supposed to be a Qualcomm 3 uh, certified fast charger that you're getting and as you can see it is also Nokia branded so let me keep these things to the side and let's look at the phone itself so here we have the phone itself and uh, let's take out this protective plastic cover that we have let's just peel that off so it just comes yeah you can pull it out like this and again as expected first impressions it's a nokia phone so the build quality feels to be really good and as you can see it's having that dual camera setup and uh, this also has face detect auto focusing and even laser auto focusing so in terms of focusing it should be really good and we also have a secondary noise cancellation microphone nokia branding over here and uh, from the front again um, pretty uh, what do you say um, nothing that special it's just having that screen uh, home uh, button again it's not a button it's like the one plus five capacitive and uh, back and for multitasking and on the top we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack here are the volume rockers uh, power on off button on the bottom opening for a single speaker usb type c main microphone and here is the sim slot let's just open that up and check it uh, as i've told you this comes with 64 gb of internal storage and it's a hybrid uh, solution guys so you can put two nano sims or uh, one nano sim and a micro sd card for expansion of storage so let's put this back and let's try to do the first boot for this device and it gave me haptic feedback and uh, by the time it actually boots up and i set it up let me give you a configuration overview so the Nokia 8 is powered by the Snapdragon 835 chipset which is an octa-core processor. It has the Adreno 540 GPU. It has a 5.3 inch IPS LCD screen with Gorilla Glass 5 protection. Moving to the storage it has 64 GB of internal storage and 4 GB of RAM. And now moving to the camera it has a dual 13 megapixel rear facing camera with Carl Zeiss optics and a 13 megapixel front facing camera. It also has fingerprint NFC support and the battery is a 3090 mAh battery. 
So as you can see guys, I've just finished uh, setting up this uh, device. So this is the wallpaper that we have and almost stock Android experience uh, that we are getting with this device. And if you hold on to these icons, as you can see, just like the pixel, they give you more options if you hard press, for example, even the YouTube app and stuff like this. So you just swipe like this to get to your apps and almost very clean stock Android experience that you're getting. I didn't even add a Google account. To the left, you'll have the Google cards and uh, it already found a software update and uh, let's uh, go here and android version is 7.1.1 and the uh, good thing that i'm liking with the nokia devices is that they have promised monthly security updates and also android updates will be getting them very fast for example this device is soon uh, supposed to get the android o update so back again bottom as you can see this is a fingerprint and this is for back and this is for your multitasking so that's what it is and let's see the storage out of that 64 how much uh, do we actually get and about 14.94 gb it says is used out of that uh, 64 so roughly about uh, 49 gb uh, you could say you are getting with this one so let's just go back and again, as you can see, it's almost stock Android. It is stock Android experience that you're getting. And they also said that this one has that always on, as you can see, though it is having that uh, LCD uh, screen, but this always on technology is uh, there on this. Uh, for example, the Samsung Galaxy S8, etc. have that. So this is a nice touch, I would say, uh, that this one has. And this is the fingerprint scanner. And let's test that. And as you can see, I just tapped in and it worked. It gives a haptic feedback and then it unlocks so as of now it looks like it is very responsive so again not a lot of junk here let's quickly just open up one of the videos and i'm pretty curious to see how is the speaker on this one let's search my own videos that's kiki ranjit uh, and let's search okay let's just open any of my videos yeah let me max let's maximize the volume So the speaker is just here at the bottom. So, Hi, so this is Max. This uh, video will be having a look at the Xiaomi Mi Mix uh, 2, which is a new uh, device. So that's uh, regarding the speaker. So it's just a single speaker here, but adequately loud in my opinion. Now let's quickly also look at the camera. And regarding the pricing, this is priced in India for rupees 37,000. And this will be sold in India via Amazon India. I'll have the link in the YouTube show notes so that you can check it out. So now let's look at the camera. They were talking a lot about the camera features. So let's fire that up. So yeah and it's taking a while yeah so this is a uh, camera interface again as you can see this is not stock so this one is sort of customized by nokia and it has some different options for example uh, this is the default tap to focus and as you can see the focusing speed is good but this is interesting let's check this so when it can use okay it has a mono sensor also so as you can see now it's taking a monochrome so twin color so now it uses both of them I guess to get those depth effect and all those things. Yeah, so and just the color option is also there. So uh, you have some options with this dual camera setup that they are having. And uh, let's look at the front facing camera, the main front dual. So it has this dual. Let's look at it. So it can shoot the front as well as the back at the same time, as you can see. So uh, this is a booty they call this if i recall like a weird name but yeah both uh, it's using the front and the back so i don't know where you might use it but this option is also there and uh, let's just go to the front so this is the front facing camera as you can see let's look at the shutter speed as you can see really fast so i'm also looking forward to test its camera but here are some more sample shots that I have taken around my office so that you can get a very quick idea regarding the camera performance of this uh, Nokia 8 in artificial lighting conditions. So guys, that's it for now for this uh, quick unboxing and first look at this Nokia 8. If you have any specific questions regarding this Nokia 8, do post your questions in the YouTube comment section below and I'll try to include them in my review. And if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.